You're all chairman. <clears throat> I don't have a. Yeah. I, are we on now? Are we yes, ready yes, to go? Sir. All right. Uh, good morning. This is the Kentucky Public Service Commission. My name is Michael Schmidt. I'm chairman of the commission and this morning serving as hearing officer. Uh, other members of the commission who will be uh, uh, reviewing the record in this case and assisting in making a decision are Vice Chairman Kent Chandler and uh, Dr. Uh, Talena Matthews. Today's hearing uh, is for the purpose of taking evidence in cases or a case where the division, uh, where the investigation division of the Public Service Commission has issued a civil penalty assessment against an individual uh, alleging violations of the Kentucky Underground Facility Damage Prevention Act. The Public Service Commission has been authorized by Kentucky Revised Statutes 367.4917 subsection 6 to enforce and assess civil penalties provided for in the Act and to seek injunctive relief for any violation that results in damage to an underground facility used to transport gas or hazardous liquid subject to the federal pipeline safety laws as set out in 49 United States Code sections 60101 et sec. <clears throat> this morning we're here for the purpose of holding a hearing in case number 2021-00164 uh, the alleged violation of the Underground Facility Damage Prevention Act by Robbie Puckett. Uh, it is alleged that Mr. Puckett violated uh, Kentucky uh, Revised Statutes 367.4911, uh, parentheses 1 in parentheses, parentheses small a in parentheses, and KRS 367.4911, subsection 2. Uh, which provide that each excavator or person responsible for an excavation, planning excavation or demolition work, shall not less than two full working days, nor more than ten full working days prior to commencing work, notify each affected operator of the excavator's intended work and work schedule. Contacting the applicable protection notification centers shall satisfy this requirement and Locate requests are valid for 21 calendar days from the day of the initial request. Uh, at this time, uh, I will ask whether or not uh, Mr. Puckett is uh, available uh, online or uh, in the hearing room, and I can see there's no one in the hearing room at this time. Uh, is Mr. Puckett, uh, Mr. Puckett, if you're available, if you're present, would you please... Uh, uh, identify yourself and let us know that you're here. All right. All right having called the case, uh, would uh, counsel for the uh, divisions of inspections please identify herself, uh, her client, and her witness here this morning? Tina Frederick, Mr. Chairman, <coughs> for the Commission's Division of Inspections, and we will be calling Eric Tout. Okay. All right, at this time, uh, Ms. Frederick, you please uh, call your call your witness. Division of Inspections calls Eric Tout. <coughs> Before Mr. Tout uh, is questioned, Ms. Frederick, I've checked the record, and it, uh, it appeared to me that Mr. Puckett has been served with process and has been notified of the date, time, and place of the hearing. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, proof of service of process was filed into this case on um, June the 5th. Are you, has anyone you haven't heard from Mr. Puckett at all since uh, since he was served? No, we haven't. <laughs> all right. I guess he, he has no interest in the, in attending. All right, you may you may question your witness. Swearing. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, thank you. You may ask. Good morning. Could you please state your name for the record? Eric Tout. And where are you currently employed? The Kentucky Public Service Commission, uh, Divisions of Inspections or Damage Prevention. Could you explain to us your job duties and responsibilities? to uh, look into underground damages that uh, 
occur across the state involving uh, hazardous liquids or uh, natural gas or gases. Are you familiar with an incident of damage to an underground natural gas facility that took place on April the 18th, 2020 at 190 Old Wollaston Road in Berea, Kentucky? Yes, I am. Did you investigate this incident? Yes, I did. Ms. Rhodes, if you would be so kind as to display the document that we have, the investigation report. for incident 32562. And Ms. Rhodes can scroll through this for us. It appears to be a four-page document with the incident number that I just recited on it. Does this appear to be a true and accurate copy of your investigation of this incident? Yes, it does. This has previously been filed, Your Honor, and I ask that it be admitted as DOI Exhibit 1. Sustained. Mr. Talk, could you for us describe your investigation and the results of your investigation? Yes, I received a uh, damage report from uh, Delta Natural Gas Company reporting, reporting the damage to the Public Service Commission. Uh, in their report, it says that a two-inch gas main was uh, damaged with a mini excavator and no call was made to 811 prior to excavation and the uh, individual that uh, was responsible or caused the damage was uh, Robbie Puckett. Okay. Now you stated that the facility that was damaged was a two inch gas main. Did that underground facility that was damaged contain natural gas at the time of the damage? Yes it did. Is the Division of Inspections aware of any other instances of damage to an underground facility involving Mr. Puckett? No, as far as I know, this is the only uh, damage. And what penalty was assessed? Um, for this particular incident, uh, it was assessed uh, $100 and uh, was the reduced penalty of $100 and to attend the damage prevention course. And if the penalty had not been reduced, what would the penalty have been? It would have been $500. And why was the penalty reduced to $100? Due to the fact that it's his first offense and that's the uh, procedure or policy that the commission has uh, followed since I've been employed that uh, homeowners uh, get a uh, more reduced penalty than uh, excavators. Uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, excavators are uh, held a little bit higher standards than homeowners. Okay. In the course of your investigation, did you speak to Mr. Puckett? Yes, I did. Okay. And what was Mr. Puckett's reaction to receiving news of, of this investigation? Uh, he, I, I spoke to him regarding this. He uh, did not deny that he caused the damage. He uh, also stated that uh, about a month prior to the incident, he uh, obtained a ticket, but during the dam during at the time of the damage, he had no valid ticket uh, or no call was made to 811. For the record, how long are locate tickets valid? 21 days. And the ticket that Mr. Puckett called in for this had been expired? For how long? That I don't know. I did not do that research because Mr. Puckett agreed that he did not have a valid ticket. And once he agreed, uh, I went ahead and uh, I filed my report. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, the Division of Inspections has no further questions. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Chandler, uh, any questions? <laughs> Commissioner Matthews? No? I, I, I have no questions. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Talbot. You may uh, step down and, and you're excused. Is there anything further, uh, Ms. Frederick? Nothing further. Thank you. Well, if there's nothing further, uh, this hearing is uh, now hereby adjourned.